Welcome everybody to another MBW Champion Plays Sudoku! I don't know why I wanted to drink some water right when I was doing my intro, but we did it anyways. Ah -ha 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 -ha. Today we are playing Double the Mines. It's a Minesweeper um, in Sudoku. This seemed really complicated in rules, so let's fail at a puzzle, shall we? Um, I'm doing a blind run on this um, puzzle, and it's gonna go horribly so I really hope that you guys are ready to see me uh, get my butt kicked on this puzzle because um, it'll be lots of fun and yeah uh, <laughs> but if you guys want to play the puzzle is in the description below so you can pause this video or you can play alongside with me um, but again press the link and you can try to solve the puzzle yourself I'll go ahead and go through the rules um, this is by um, Florian uh, Wartman it's normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, so in a row, in a column, and in a grid, there's a one through nine. Can't um, have more than that. Basically. I mean, like, can't repeat. It's normal Sudoku rules. Come on, guys, come on. Um, the black dot, which we see right here, uh, is a one to two ratio, meaning that one digit is double the other. So say, for example, if this is one, that means that that would have to be two. Um, if this is three, that would have to be six. It's pretty easy to do, you know, right there. Um, not all dots are given. Okay, so that means potentially this could, you know, this could be like a one and a two as well. So it's weird that they only give us one of them then. <laughs> Why do you only give us one? Dang it. Um, okay, so. The sum of the digits along a gray line is equal to the sum of the digits in the circles at either end of the line. So read, let's read that again. The sum of the digits on a gray line, so like this for example, or what's easier to show? This one's probably easier. So the sum of this equals the sum of the, the, the circles on either line. So this these two equal these three. These two equal this one. These two equal this two, and so forth. Whew, this is gonna be some. This is gonna be a, a hard one. But this is gonna. This is the part where I was like reading. And I was like, oh yeah, let's do this puzzle. This might be a lot of fun. So, so we're going to shade some cells such that all shaded cells are orthogonally connected, which that means, um, let's just say, uh, I don't know, this is like a horrible, horrible representation, but let's just say that this is um, our non-shaded. And we'll do gray for, uh, for the other one, but anyways, Basically, what it's saying is all the non-shaded are going to um, be connected like that. You can't do this. You can't connect it like that. Like, say, for example, if it was like that, like, like it can't be connected. It has to be connected orthogonally, so it has to be like that. But it also looks like it's the all shaded and all unshaded are orthog orthogonally connected too. So, say for example, this won't work because because uh, oh no, it does work. I mean, this is a bad example, like because I was showing right here, like um, Oh no, it does work. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, never mind, never mind. No two by two area may be fully shaded or fully unshaded. So, so I was kind of doing this, um, obviously. So, so like this is not true. Like it has to be, it has to be like a. <laughs> it's gonna be. 
weird, but like, like say for example, that works. Obviously it doesn't work out here, but like it works because it's orthogonally connected and it's, uh, there's no two by two. Like if it had like a two by two, like if I said that this was part of it, this would not work. Whew. Anyways, now let's get to the Minesweeper part. Um, the circles act as a Minesweeper rule. So if you ever played Minesweeper, uh, say for example, if, if this was a um, six, that means there are six um, digits somewhere for that Minesweeper rule. Because um, basically it says cells containing a circle are always unshaded so like this would be like unshaded um, whereas it says the their value is the number of shaded cells so this would work for example there's six shaded around that number and then the rest of them are unshaded so that's you know, this wouldn't work, obviously, because this is not orthogonally uh, connected, but I'm just kind of showing, like, how that works. Um, yeah, and I think that's the rules. My God, this is going to be tough. <laughs> but that's why I wanted to do the puzzle, guys, because I am crazy. I have no idea. Are they all connected, by the way? Shade some cells such that all shaded cells are orthogonally connected. Yes, yeah, is all. Right? Oh no, I have no idea. What if I'm wrong about that? What if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong? Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's go ahead and, and uh, play this game. Uh, this is going to be crazy. It's probably going to take forever. I, pro I Maybe I'll fail at this. I have no idea. Um, but let's go ahead and start. I'm going to label these just because I know that um, these are the only values that it can be. I know it's a lot of values, but I'm just going to put that in there just so that we know um, what's going to be in there. So, I am going to... What color should we do? Maybe blue. So, blue is going to re represent unshaded. We know that every circle is going to be unshaded. So, oh man, I'm already like sweating. <laughs> so, Okay, so we know that the sum of these two have to equal the sum of these two. I'm starting right here because these are close together and they're in the same grid. So we know that they don't duplicate, for example. Um, but this is going to equal the sum of that. Hmm. <coughs> What kind of sucks though is like, say for example, if this is a one, this could be a one, this could be a two, and this could be a two, and that actually works out. Oh, this is gonna be more difficult than I thought. Oh crap, oh crap. <coughs> okay, well that sucks. Um, So, these two, really just this one, I want to focus on. These two have to equal this, right? So say for example, if this is a one, two, this would be a three.
like minimum this would have to be a three. I don't know why I want to label that, but I'm going to label it. Um, oh, check this out. How many shaded can be right here? Only three can be shaded. So this is going to be a one, two, or three. Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't we say that... Shade some cells... All shaded cells are orthogonally connected, and all unshaded cells are orthogonally connected. That means it has to connect. So I'm trying to say that out loud because I'm basically saying that this corner one right here, I can't have three shaded because then this doesn't connect to any of these ones. So this has to go out. In fact, if it went out this way, Oof. This is going to be a tough one. Yeah, they all have to connect. I got it. I got it. Can this be unshaded? If this is unshaded, one of these two have to be shaded. I can't, I can't figure that out. Either way, one of these is going to be shaded because it has to exit out. We don't know which way it's going to go though. It could like... could be like super wonky like this, you know? Again, this is like a bad example, but like, because I know that this is not really working here, but like, God, this is such an interesting puzzle. Anyways, coming back to here, we know that this is either going to be a 1 or a 2 because it can't be a 3 because this 3 can't be here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this 3. If this is a 1, 2, that means there's never going to be a 1, 2 pair right here. So this 1 is going to be gone. I mean, like, if it's a 1, it has to be a 2, which means this would be right here. So there's never going to be a 1 right here, in other words. Um, this is a one or a two. 
what's the minimum that this can be? The minimum is if this was a two, this would be a one, three, four pair. I'm gonna erase this right now, but I just wanted to kind of show you. It'd be a one, one, three, four pair, which is seven. And so this would be 2 plus 5. So that's the minimum that, minimum that we can have. So, so basically, this is going to be a 5, 6, 7, 8, or a 9. Minimally. Minimally, minimally. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what, since this is the highest that this can be is an 11, there's no way that this can be a 9. I'm just going to put some numbers in here really quick. There's, not, there's no way that's going to be a 9, so I'm just going to take out 9 right away. Because if it was a 9, for example, um, 9 plus one plus two, which you can't have, is already above 11. So what about eight? Again, if this is two, um, eight, one, three, that wouldn't work. So there's no eight here, what about seven. Seven, one, three, that's an 11. Seven, one, three. Yeah, that works. But if there's a seven one three, this can still be a four and eight. Okay. That didn't help out then. Damn, I was hoping that would help out. Um, oh, you know what? None of these can be nine. I just realized one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight cells that surround this, so this can never be a nine. So in fact, this the highest that this can be is a 10. So this seven um, is never gonna be a seven. Because seven one two again can't do that. Let me see six one three still is ten so that so that can work. But uh, wow okay so that's good to know. If they're all connected though, again we have to. Oh my god. We're basically saying that it has to be connected. So like how can an unshaded here be connected if all these are here? That means this can never be an eight. So in fact, that could be never never be a six. Because same logic, seven plus two is the highest it can be, which is nine. And six um cannot be in there. Because 6 plus 3 plus 1 is already higher than a 9, so. So this is. So the 7 is, is basically the only. The only, like, solution that can be here. Because, say, for example, this is the shaded. This has an exit for the unshaded. So that can work. This is cool. I'm already seeing kind of like how the Minesweeper thing is working, and it's like, holy cow, this is going to be insane. Um, okay, so since we have the 5, 6, 7 here, this has to equal the sum of that, right? So the highest that this can go to is a 4, because, oh, crap, I messed up. I meant to only click on that. 
a one, two, three, or four, because if it's four plus five, this can be a nine. Um, but the minimum that it can be is a five, one, so this is gonna be a six, seven, eight, or nine. minimum that this can be is a two. Actually, none of these are going to be ones, now that I'm thinking about it. Say, for example, if this is a one, that means the rest of these would be shaded. Oh yeah, check that out. So if it's shaded, I mean unshaded, like, so say, for example, if this Let's just say that if this is shaded, for, for example, if it's one, that means the rest of this would be unshaded. But we already know that we can't have a two by two in here. So that can't be true. So this will never be. Um, in fact, how can we do it where we'll never have a two by two unshaded? There has to be at least three. Because it could work like this. So yeah, so that this can never be a one or a two. Three is the minimum that it can be. And four works. Again, it can't be five because then f five plus five is more than this digit right here. So, so uh, there we go. So this is going to be a, a eight or a nine. We know that this can't be an eight. So again, this is going to be. I think we I think we did the logic right here. The only way that that we can have this work is there can't be. It can never be a two. Yeah, you know what? Even here. Even here. And even here. trying to think if there's like any way I can do it with like if this is a one or a two like I'm trying to see like can this be a one or a two in any of these these uh, these cells um, if it's a one or a two You know what? To my work. I was wrong. Because this is saying right here that if there was three, it would work here. But if there was two, like let's just say there's two, that means these would be the unshaded. 
and none of that is a 2 by 2. So this can be a 2. So we know it just can't be a 1. A 1, 8, or a 9. Okay. I don't know why I'm going to label these, but I'm going to. Um, again, we know that these are the possible solutions that this can be. It's going to be very rare if it's going to be a 2, but I at least want to make note of that. Um, Oh man, this is gonna be fun. Oh man, I'm just, I'm already like, this is, this is gonna be brutal. <laughs> Can this be five? Again, that means it would be seven. So that means that this would be a, a one, two, four. I don't think this can can be because then the one and two is being used right there. So again, can this be five? It would make this six and that one, two, three is not going to work. Five plus two is seven and that would have to be a one, two, four. So that's never going to work. This is not a five. So that means there's a lot of shaded near here. There's either going to be one or um, two spaces that are not being seen here. Um, let's just say that this expands this way, just for argument's sake. If we say that this is this, that means we know that it has to go What I'm trying to say is, can this be unshaded? That's what I'm trying to say. If it is, One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to do. Um, actually, I could do it this way. So if this is shaded, it looks like it is possible. to have, oh no, 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 I'm sorry, dang it. I forgot that this is shaded too, if in the scenario that I'm doing. Okay, anyways, if this is shaded, can I, I mean, that works. That does work. Dang it. Okay, never mind. Maybe let's just keep on doing this. Can this be a six? Um, six plus one. Again, it would be a one, two, four. So this is not going to be a one. Um, in that scenario that it's a six, uh, but can it be 
a 7. 1 plus 7, 8. There has to be a 1 in here for any scenario that this is not 9. So if that's the case, this can never be 1 in this scenario, again, that we're trying to get below 9. Um, so let's just say it's, uh, you know, if it is 8, like 6 plus 2. It would be a one, three, four. A one, three, four, two pair it here, but then that would cover all these. So that's not going to work. So, in fact, I don't think this can ever be an eight. Like, I don't think adding this together, we, it can't equal 8, in other words. Because, again, there would have to be the 1, which would make this 2. And the only way to have 8 here is to have the 3 and the 4. And so this would be a 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, which again, we need this to be a duplicate right here. And so we have to have the two, three, or four right here. Like it's required to have one of those in there. So this can never be an eight. So in fact, this sum is a nine. What are the scenarios that I need a nine? Again, it's, if it's a two, three, four, Let's just say if it's a 2, 3, 4 pair, that would make this the 1, but that we can never have a 9 here, because it's you can't have an 8, so it's can't be 1 plus 8. Um, so, we know that the 1 is right there, so this is the 2. Whew. Okay. And again, we know that this can't be an 8. So this is the 7. And if that's the case, let's get rid of that 5. And then let's get rid of that. Oh, no. Did I get something wrong? can't be a 1, 2, 3. Oh, what am I doing? A 1, 3, 4 is is 8. That's why I was confused. Okay, sorry about that. I was doing the logic right, but for some reason I put the 4 in here because I was I was making an 8, for example, for, for some weird reason. Anyways, again, this is a 7 because this is a 9, and then this equals 9. My bad. I... Yeah, I did 1, 3, 4, which is, which is 8. Okay, so if that's the case, that means this is the 4-8 pair, which would make this 
um, by default the nine uh, six I want to say yeah 69 <laughs> okay <laughs> and again we don't know if this is shaded or not I'm just I was just kind of putting that there um, okay okay Oh, you know what? I think we do know if this is going to be shaded or not. So since this is a two, that means there has to be two uh, shaded in here. Can these two be shaded? No, because this has to be connected on the edge to one of its own kind. So that means the only way that we can get two in this mine sweeper right here is it to be right here or right here? So this is always going to be shaded. So we got our first shaded officially. We just don't know if it goes this way or this way yet. Now, this is a seven, so we have one. So we're gonna, we're, everything's gonna be shaded, in other words. Except. Except one, right? There has to be like a, you know, like a way to get out. You know what it can't be though? This one right here? So say for example, if we did say that this is a um, an unshaded, because this is shaded, right? Now the edges are not connected because this has to go out this way. So this is the shaded, which makes this go out. This can't be the shaded one because, again, it has to be connected outward. In fact, I don't think the diagonals can be um, unshaded because, say, for example, if these were the shaded and one of the diagonals, how is this connected orthogonally? It can't. So these are all shaded. So we don't we don't know which one, but one of these is shaded and one of them's not shaded. So we know that this is going to come out here. Okay. So we know that this is not a 1, but since we know that this is a 7 and it has to equal this, we know that this is going to be the 2, which is this is going to be the 9. Um, Two is seeing that, seven is seeing that. Um, so since we do know that this two is seeing all the shaded, we kind of did the logic a little bit earlier, um, where basically like, what's the only place that we can put this where it's not going to make a, um, a two by two unshaded so if we put the shaded here we can you know this is gonna break it if we put it there it's gonna break it put it there it's gonna break it it's gonna break it put it there it's gonna break it put it there it's gonna break it so it has to be here this is the only way that this works where this can be unshaded Thus, we know that this one's shaded. Whew, okay. And by the way, we can get rid of that four because that one's saying that. Okay. So, um, 
this is either going to be a four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. This is also one of the ones where it's only one digit, so this plus this has to equal this. Um, it can be a duplicate, so two plus two could equal four, so that's why I put four as the minimum there. Um, okay. So, this can expand here, but it also doesn't have to. Like, this could be the end point while it's going. Um, we do know that in order for this to expand out, though, it does have to come here. Just trying to see if this is going to work. Oh, we can do it this way. That has to come out. That means that that has to come out. This has to come out. Um, this could be blue. Yeah, that works. I don't know if this can be gray. Because if this was catty corner to each other, how in the world would we get this to connect without it wrapping around? Meaning this is blue. Okay. Same, same logic here applies. Yeah, we don't know if the if this wraps around here. This could be the end point. Oh no, wait. This kind of expands out here. How's that going to work? Oh, I guess it could go like blue can go like here. Yeah, and then it could like it could wrap around like this can all wrap around here. Oof, this is going to be an interesting puzzle. Okay. Um What I do know is if these are both unshaded, that's not going to work. So one of these have to be shaded. But if that's the case, we already have three shaded, so this cannot be a three. Same thing here. If Since this is scene two, we can't have these two at all be... Um, It's at least going to see one, two, three, four of them. Because if I do any which way of this, like if this is unshaded or if this is unshaded, um, that's going to break it because it's a two by two. So the only way that it could possibly work is if this is one right here so this can never be a two so this is either going to be a three four or a five can never be a six so what is the highest that this can be looks like it like a five plus seven is t 12 so this is going to be either a 12 or the minimum is going to be an eight to 12. I mean, meaning 
it's at least going to be here. <sighs> okay. This can't be an eight. Yeah, this can still probably be a three. Let's just keep that there. Okay. Um, can this be a three? If the if the unshaded is like that, no, it can't be because then. Unshaded is here. It's going to make these two. Yeah, because then this will never connect. Yeah, this can never be a three. Okay. But can this be a four? So if this is a four. I mean, I guess this shade can go all the way right here, but then wrap around. But I was just looking at this. In order for this to, because the blue is on the outside, and the blue has to come here, that means the blue can't go, it can't go around here because then this is going to be a two by two right here, right? So like, let's just say like this, this is the blue. This can't wrap around, so it has to actually go this way, which means the black is going to have to go down here at some, at some point. But for the black to meet with this black, especially because this blue is coming in to meet with here, that means the black the unshaded is going under. Like this is kind of like where this puzzle is kind of headed. And because of that, that's literally the only way that the blue, because it's on the outside, and the, the, the gray, it's the only way that it's going to be able to loop. Meaning, <laughs> this is all gray. it has to go around because again it, it can't go and splice the other way because then it separates the blue from each other and they're all connected so it has to be coming out this way so we actually know the number now one two three so this is a five and then one two three four five six so this is a six Clean some stuff up. Meaning the fives right here. So five is going to go right here somewhere. We don't know exactly where, but it's going to go right there somewhere. So this is going to be an 11, meaning this is not going to be a nine. gonna go somewhere right there okay oh wait the four can't go right there oh my wife's home all right so two goes right there Well, kind of like I, what I was saying, I can't really go in, like, say for example, this can't be, this can't be gray, 
because again, this can't be a two by two. So this can't be gray. It would have to go around here, right? If this was gray. But that means this wouldn't connect with its edge. So that means this is the gray. And because you can't have a two by two, this has to be the shaded. Which makes this go this way. Same logic here, it can't go around. Yep, because if it goes around again, it's gonna cut off the blue. So that means it has to go this way. We're not sure here though, because it could snake in a little bit. Again, this can't be blue right here because again, it would cut that off. I think this is just going to wrap all the way around. Yeah, because it can't go here. Because same logic, the blue right here would not be matching. So this has to be gray. Making this here. Can't go around here. Yeah, check that out. It's just going to keep going. Actually, we're not sure if this is gray right here. We at least know that if the blue does goes down here, this has to be gray because if not, this would be a two by two. So we at least know that. Um, but this makes it so that this is not a two, this is not a two, this is not a two. This could be a two. Uh, this has to be gray. So we do know the gray is going to come in somewhere. It's not going to come in like in here because again it's going to... Oh it can because it could do that. Yeah so the gray could go in somewhere. Somewhere sneakily. Sneaky sneaky. Cool that we're making some cool progress here. Um, can this be a seven? Meaning, can this all be gray? No. Because the blue has to connect. Can this all be seven? Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Uh, yeah, yes, it can. Blue can definitely come out this way. So these can be seven. This is already showing that it can't be um, seven. It's one, two, three, four, five is the, is the minimum it could be. So that means this, this would have to be ten. Oh, in fact, the highest that this can be is a six. So this is going to be a four, five, or six. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these things right here. Uh, this has to be an 11, so this is a 7, 4, a 5, 6, or a 3, 8. Meaning this can't be a 7, because that's not the 4. Okay. This right here, um, because we got rid of some of the numbers right here, um, two, three is the minimum, which is five. So that means this is a five, eight, or a nine. This can't be a two. If it is a two, it's already seen two right here, so that means that this would all be unshaded, but again, that would be a two by two, so this is not a two. 
Um, can it be a three? Yeah, that works. So it can be a three. So three plus three, that gets rid of the five. So it's going to be an eight or a nine. Um, meaning there's no seven in here. And there's no s or it could be a six and a three. Yeah, that works. Okay. Do 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 do. So what this can't be, so so this is two plus whatever, right? Um, there's four digits right here. So this minimally has to be a. Well, I was gonna say six, but there's a two right here. So a one, three, four. So it has to be seven, minimum, minimum, um, and then plus this. So seven. Let's just say one. So that's eight. So this at least has to be eight. So two plus any of this. So it can't be three, four, or five. It has to be six at least, because again, this equals seven plus one. So the highest that this value can be is a nine, all these um, four digits. So because of that, there at least needs to be Like if the, all these were unshaded, seven works. Six works too. So that's good. Uh, what about this? So we already see two. So that means if this was a two and it's already seen two, that means that these will all be unshaded, but that won't work. So that's never a two. Um, if this is a three, that can work. Excellent. This means that that's never gonna be a four. Trying to see if the six is we're gonna or and the five was gonna do something here, but it doesn't look like it. Um, let's just say that this is a three. It's already seen three, making these unshaded. Doesn't work. Um, if it's a four, where can it go where it won't mess anything up? There would be a two by two right here. There would be a two by two right here. There would be a two by two right here. And then a two by two right here. So this is never a four. This is a five. Which makes Sudoku says that that's gonna be a five somewhere. Um, don't know where this is going to go right here. I think this is going to be unshaded. I think these are going to be gray, like shaded, and I think this is going to connect this way. The only reason why I think that is because I'm trying to think 
how can this be 5? If it expands here, I can do this. Well, that does work. Can I do this? Kind of? Not really, though. I know it at least doesn't expand all the way right here, because then it would be 5. Interesting. Okay. Um, with this logic, we know that the highest that this can be a nine, is a 9, right? So we know that there definitely has to be a 1 in here. Reason being is because if it's if because the 2 seeing this right here, if there's no 1 in here, it would be 3 4 5, which is way above 9. <laughs> so we know that this has to be a 1 in here. Can we get away with not having a 3 in here? So like let's just say the minimum is this. No. It's 2 plus 7. That 5 plus 4 is already ruined in it, so there has to be a 3 in it. What about 5? Can we have 5 in here? No. Because that would be 9 uh, again. So it has to be. Yeah, we actually know the... What's in here? So there's going to be 8 plus 1. This is the only option that we're going to have right there. So this has to be a 7. Okay. So that means we do know that this is going to come out again like that. Same logic here. The corners are going to be grayed. We just don't know which which area it's going to go in. But we do know at least that the that there's going to be only one gray in one of these because there's only five. We just don't know where it's going to be. It's fascinating. Well, it can't be here. Because, say for example, if this is the shaded one, then these two would be unshaded, but then that would make this two. So this is actually shaded. I mean, unshaded. Which means we found our... our unshaded one. So one, two, three, four, five. We already have way more than that, so let's get rid of that three. In fact, it's one, two, three, four, five. Minimum we can have is eight still, so we're still good there. Trying to see if the one and the three is gonna do anything there, but I didn't see it. Okay, this is gonna be twelve, so this I 
don't think we can have a I'm, I'm just gonna put the seven right here I'll, I'm gonna erase this in a second but I just want to show you so I don't think we can have a seven what's like the minimum we can have six so this is like like if there was a seven in here seven plus six is 13 but again it has to be lower than I mean it has to be 12 so seven does not work I was just trying to point out that seven doesn't work and because we don't have a five in here we know that there has to be a six and I'm trying to figure out if I can do this without having I mean with having a four also I don't think there's any solution that you can have a four in here. Because four plus six, and then uh, you'd have to have two more numbers, so. Because again, if you didn't have a six, and you don't have a five, how could you do one, two, three, four to equal 12? It's not gonna happen, so. Okay, that checks out. All right, so this is gonna be a four, seven eight right there nine is going to go somewhere right here Can this ever be a six? No, because that would be um, higher than nine right here. So this can never be a six. Can this be a four? Four or five? Yes, it can. And again, I think this can still be a three, like if these are the unshaded. still works. Yeah, okay. I still don't know where the where the shadow stops. I don't think it goes past here because then it would cut off the blue so I know it ends somewhere right here so I can't tell where this is going to be but that's fine all right can this ever be a two They can. <laughs> uh, it's funny. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? one two three four five if this was all the shaded right here that means this would be unshaded so this and that can't happen because that's a two by two so this is a six. Oh, I meant to just put this I 
Um, that makes that makes that six. We know the six is going to be in here somewhere. Okay. Do we know where it's going to go? No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, that still works. Oh, yeah. So, this 2x2, two two, this has to be the the blue and because of that this is the three that makes that the five Clean it up a little bit. Um, let me see. Five is seen here. I'm just gonna highlight it just in case. This five is seen here. Actually, that cleans it up quite nicely. It's going to go here. Seven is going to go here and the one. Yeah, one. Five, six, sevens go up here. Oh, sevens actually resolved. And then eight. We don't know where the eight's going to be right here. Or the four. I know it's kind of muddy right there, but. I just want to visually see that. Uh, this six is seeing this row, so that means this is actually going to be a. It's going to be required to show that, so that means this is the six. And if that's the case, we have a four eight pair. So we know this is the two down here. So we, we know what this is. Um, this is a two, eight, seven. This could never be a four. This has to be a three, nine. So these ones right here mean that there's going to be a one in the middle here. Uh, 
oh yeah, this five right here, because we since we just put the one right here, this five is meaning that this that this row is gonna have the fives in it, meaning this is the five. And since the three is seeing this, three is gonna go here, four is gonna go here. What is this? It's going to be a nine, uh, eight pair. And just seeing this, like how high these numbers are, and since this is a seven, we know that this can't really be that low. Um, so say for example, if this was an eight, and this minimum is two, that means lowest that this can be is a ten. So seven plus two is nine, so this is, could never be a two. I'm just gonna kind of label that there. Alright, so this Where seven is going to be. Oh, any of this can be eight. Never mind. But the one thing is this four. Oh, wait, no, the four can be right there, too. Never mind. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do uh, we're probably just going to have to use some logic here um, with the with with the adding. So, can this ever be 7? So, 7 plus 8 is the minimum if if it's a 7, which would be 15. So, this that means that this would have to be 8. And this can't be higher than a 5, so that can't be. So this is always going to be a 2. Okay. So we know that we have the 2. So if this was 7 plus 5, that means this would have to be a 12 can't happen so this has to be uh, the 11 okay I think that's gonna clean it a lot up so um, this is showing at the, us that this is the 4 and 8 Almost done now. Oh, look, we have the four and the three showing that this is going to be a um, seven. Uh, so obviously, this can't be a seven or eight because then, you know, at adding those together will be um, way more than a seven. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Meaning, the only places that the seven and the eight can go are these two places. Because again, it can't go here. Cause seven, eight, see these. Seven, eight, see these. And again, this can't be a seven, eight because of that adding there. So, so this is a seven, eight pair. Which, because we see that, this is going to be a two, six pair. But we know that this six is seeing this. So this is a two, six. Meaning this is going to be a two, one. There we go. Uh, this is going to be a 5-4 pair, I want to say. Yep. And the 4 is seeing that. It's a 5-4. Okay, we 
I just need like one more here. What we do know is that the nine can't be here. So the nine is going to be somewhere right here. Because again, six plus three is nine. So because there's nines here, nines right here, that means nines have to be here, which nine sees that. Two, which makes this the two. Since this is a nine, this is going to be a seven. Eight is going to go somewhere right there. Three is seeing all these, so three is going to go right there, which clears that up. Four is going to go somewhere down here. This two is seen here. Clean a little bit of things up. Um, this, there still can be eights here. Oops, oh, sorry. This can be a seven. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, it's the six. Dang it. We're near the end. Um, I think this is where it's going to make us go back to doing the shading again. Um, meaning I, I can like resolve everything with the shading. Um, so this three, for example, can this be the shaded? No because then that would mean that these would all be unshaded. So this is going to be unshaded, which makes this have to be unshaded. And this has to be shaded, because if not, then these are going to be over here. Same logic here. If this is shaded right here, then these four would be unshaded. So it's going to go like that. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if it if it comes up yet, so we won't do that quite just yet. I think it might go like around this way. So if this was shaded right here, that would mean that this has to be like I'll just show you so if this was shaded that means this would have to be unshaded right here oh it has to connect somewhere right here though oh no wait 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 we have this here that's what it is. Oh, what am I doing? This has to go out. It can't go in because if it goes back in, how does it connect? Like the blue has to connect here, right? And then this would have to go up, but then that means this blue is trapped meaning this blue has to go down here 
like this blue has to do this. Well, let me say that again. So if this blue doesn't go here, like let's just say it goes this way, that means this gray is going to cut off this blue. So it has to go down this way. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so that that's logical meaning this has to go up in order to meet this or actually it could meet this this way not sure yet on there. I'm just going to not look at that for a second. Let's just finish the, ac the actual Sudoku puzzle at least. Um, so this is the, this is the 4848. 48, 48. about threes? Oop. Threes. Three is going to be here. Making, ah, it's three in the corner. <laughs> That's three in the spot light. Losing my religion. Alright, uh I guess I'll pencil mark these a little bit better. Is there anything else? Duh. There's the This is still on the line. I didn't even see that. Um so this has to be an eight. Meaning this is the eight. That's gonna resolve everything. I there were so many like markers on the on the actual uh, puzzle that I wasn't actually seeing um, seeing that like very clear. Uh, that's, yeah, it's five eight. So yeah, five eight seven. Nine five. Oh, didn't mean to accidentally resolve that. Cause I actually want to see what um how this is going to resolve. So for sure, Like say for example if like if this was to connect here. Actually, I'll do it in a different color so we can, so you can see it. So like if this was to connect here, this has to see four, right? So this would have to see here, because like because this can't be a two by two. Um, here, because this has to be a two by two, and. this needs to connect this way. So that would be five. Meaning this this can't be possible. Like one like one of these have to be a shaded. That's what I'm trying to say. So if we know that one is shaded We know one of these has to be shaded. I'll just do it a different color. <laughs> we know it has to. We know one has to go here. So one, two, 
3. And the only reason why we know that is because it's either going to go out this way or it's going to go out this way. If it doesn't go out this way, like if it goes this way, like that, one of these would have to be gray, which would have to be this one, because if it was this one, then the only way to get to this gray is here. So this is possible going out this way. This works. Does it work the other way? One, two, three. So this would have to automatically be this. And, and again, I, I said that one of them has to be here, right? Actually, it looks like it, does it work? Actually, I'm just going to label it just so that we can all see. So if this goes out this way, that's required. Meaning one of this has to be required, which it has to be um, this way. Because if not, it would have a two by two. Oh, but then this one would have to be gray because of that. Yeah. Because this has to be blue, that means this can't be blue. But if this is blue, then this has to be gray. But because this has to exit out, now it's already seen four, so that would make that five. So this is the way out. Okay, now now we now we resolved the way that it's supposed to look. <laughs> Blue and then that. Okay, I think that checks out. So minesweeper wise, this three is seeing these three. This six is seeing this six. This seven is seeing this seven. 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 7, 4, 2. Perfect. Dang. That was a fun puzzle. Long one, but I didn't... That was a crazy rule set, but we completed it, so I feel very accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me know if you uh, tried the tried the puzzle. Um, that was a pretty insane one. So I I uh, there was a lot of rules to it, but like like once you do the shading and stuff like that, and kind of get the the concept of it, um, this minesweeper thing is genius in my opinion. So I thought it was it's really unique. Like I'm trying to figure out like like just imagining trying to set this this puzzle and like and like creating it like how much work that would have been like it's just crazy so Florian that was that was really good so um, anyways thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you guys next time again we do this every other Wednesday so catch the next Sudoku puzzle uh, in the in the Wednesday following this other one whatever <laughs> all right I'll talk to you guys later <laughs>